Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk about the uh, upcoming winter 2021-2022 and uh, skiing, the ski season, the ski areas, where I think some of the heaviest snow is going to be, the most consistent snow is going to be. And keep in mind, this is my perspective, looking at all the variables ahead for the season. At the, at the end of the day, this is a forecast. All right, so let's jump into this. So overall, what are we looking at? Well, I think when you look at the bulk of the data heading into um, this fall and this winter, right now we're in a neutral phase. I like to look at the sea surface temperatures in the South Pacific near the equator. There are numerous variables globally that impact the weather, but I like to look at these water temperatures because I think it really helps to anchor the wintertime jet stream across the United States and determine where some of the snowfall patterns like to set up. Right now we're neutral at about minus 0.3 Celsius, but as you can see with the graphic, the dotted line, the forecast from most of the American data drags us down to colder temperatures into a cold phase. That means La Nina. Um, right now it looks like about minus one. I think probably minus one are on the warmer side of that. So a La Nina to a La Nina light. The official forecast from the Weather Service, NOAA, gives us a 70% shot at La Nina. So that's the way it looks. With that in mind, we'll put this into some context. This is where we've been since 2009. All of the water temps in this area dating back uh, to 2009. The closest or most recent analog to what I think we'll see this winter is last winter. I don't think it's going to be all that much different. Um, we, and there's going to be no transition or no flip, which means we had a La Nina last winter. We're basically neutral now. We'll go back to La Nina. Whereas in some of the bigger winters, you'll see a flip. You'll go from El Nino to a La Nina or vice versa. I don't think we're going to see that this winter. So when we talk about La Nina, and again, this is where you look in that South Pacific zone near the equator, the cooler than normal water tends to anchor different pressure features and then eventually the wintertime jet stream over the United States. This isn't the way it is every single day or every single week, but more often than not when you look at the average, this is the way it sets up. It tends to set up a warmer than normal and drier than normal pattern from California down through the desert southwest. Most of the big snow tends to, or most consistent tends to be in the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier states. We're also going to talk about the Northeast as well coming up. Let's start out West and then we'll kind of move out in that direction. So across the West, this is my forecast overall for the winter. The green balls represent where I think we're going to see above normal snowfall or more consistent snow, snow this winter. And that is the Pacific Northwest, Whistler, Seattle area, all the way through Rainier, Bachelor and Hood and all of those areas into Banff and Revelstoke and down into Schweitzer, Sun Valley, Big Sky, Jackson, uh, Bridger Bowl, into Discovery and Jackson Hole. That's where I think if you were planning out Thanksgiving or Christmas, I would look at those areas. I'd say where that's where the odds are going to be the highest for most consistent snow. Then you get into a zone or belt of just normal winter weather, I think. A normal winter season snow for most of northern Utah, most of the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and I think that's going to be the case in the northeast as well. We'll look at that in a second. But then drier and warmer than normal California down through parts of southern uh, Utah, the southern tier essentially, down through southern Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. Um, in, in situations like this, and we saw this last season, the drought tends to deepen in a lot of these areas, and this is not a pattern that is conducive to atmospheric river setups. Um, in California either. So that's the way I think it looks for this area right now. What about Colorado? Well, in Colorado, uh, again, a very normal winter setup for I-70 in north, central and northern mountains. Also, what we tend to see are other long periods of just warmer and drier weather mixed in with windier than normal conditions, and that seems to be the case as well. I've noticed that. Southern Colorado, unfortunately, just kind of a drier, warmer winter down there. You'll still have plenty of snow, but there will be a long periods where it may not snow at all. We saw problems with this type of setup and avalanche conditions last season, something to um, keep in the back of your mind. In the northeast, I just think it's going to be a pretty normal winter out there um, with normal winter snow, normal risks as well for nor'easters, pretty typical type situation there 
for many of the major ski areas. I don't see anything that stands out to me. When you factor all this in and look at the ski areas and just percentages, either above or below normal, again, it's the areas in the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of the Rockies that I think have the best percentages going into the season, Jackson Hole, Big Sky, Banff, um, through all uh, the Pacific Northwest, Schweitzer, down into uh, parts of Sun Valley, and Whistler, Blackcomb, those are the areas that I think are going to be the most consistent going into this uh, ski season. Keep in mind, again, this is a forecast based on what I see right now. It could change, so always appreciate you looking at these reports, and again, this was for On the Snow. Take care.